a trip to Wembley today for the FA Cup semi-final and things are going alright in the league as well. We're probably out of the race for sixth place but we still might qualify for European football should we have a good run in and that starts today with Bournemouth at home. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2018 and part 10 of Hammers Unite. And in today's episode, we are taking on Bournemouth at home, and then we're taking on Everton in the semi-final of the FA Cup. So since you were last with us, form has been pretty good to be honest. We had a bit of a blip against Wolves, we just didn't turn up. We lost 3-0 away from home. Pretty poor um, performance there, and it could end up costing us... European football at the end of the day. Uh, but then we went to Frank Lampard's derby and won 2-0 in the replay. Hernandez and Anderson getting the goals there. We then had another Kraken match against Tottenham this time. We won that one 4-3. Yarmolenko, Anderson and Hernandez on the score sheet for us there. We then beat Manchester United 1-0. In the FA Cup semi-final, we played very well for a good sort of uh, 70 minutes or so. And then they got a player sent off. Fabianski was also injured in this match, um, which luckily I had a, a goalkeeper on the bench this time. Adrian came in and deputised, but we did score in the 92nd minute. Just about avoiding extra time. And Yarmolenko, the one with his name on the short score sheet. We then drew 2-2 with Everton. A decent result, I think, this one. Even though we were 2-0 up um, away from home, I would have took a draw before that one started. So hopefully we can get revenge for their um, two-goal comeback uh, in our last match uh, later on today when we face them in the FA Cup semi-final. So... Um, in the league, we are currently in ninth place on 50 points from 34 games. We're pretty much assured a top nine finish at this stage, uh, especially if we win today's match. Uh, we're six points behind Wolves, which is why I say that result has probably cost us because, uh, you know, that was a six-pointer and they're six points ahead. So that, that's the way it works sometimes. Man United have already won the league title. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can get a result against Bournemouth today and, and put some pressure on Wolves at least. Let's have a look at the team for today. Adrian will start and go. We've then got Zabaleta, Balbuena, Reed, and Masaku in defence. We've then got Toure and Wilshire in the middle with Antonio, Horta, and Anderson starting behind Javier Hernandez up top. So this should be a match that we're capable of winning um, and hopefully winning comfortably as well. Uh, uh, that that is the idea at least um, and improving the, our goal difference because it is minus 5 at the moment it would be nice to get a positive goal difference by the end of the season we're not going to catch up to Wolves' as goal difference but who cares who cares, Wolves are having a terrific season you know, I mean that, that, their goal difference is as good as anybody in the top 6 so they, they could be contenders next year if they kept playing the way they are here's Fisher to weigh now, Francis, look at the amount of space we're giving them on the ball. Ake now to Pew to Arda. Four to Pew now. Pew to Victor Fisher. King scores, but I think he's offside. Joshua King is indeed offside. And it stays 0-0, but worrying signs early on here. But 0-0 after 20 minutes. Not too bad. Here's Masaku now to Anderson. To Wilshire, Horner. Horta on the ball, now to Antonio. Antonio to Wilshire, to Horta, now Chicharito. Here's Wilshire, it's away. Here's Horta, mm. it's away by Pew. Here's Balbuena. Wilshire, ooh, good tackle. Here's Horta, 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 Hernandez now. Hernandez with the shot and Begovic saves. Wilshire still on the floor. Uh, I hope he's not really badly hurt, but... He's been lay there for quite a while. I think he is going to just be injured. Uh, it's actually just a knock. But it's a bruised knee. We'll see how how he copes in, in the next 5-10 minutes or so. But we might have to bring him off at half time. Come on, hurry up, Jack. <laughs> he has hot end in the middle. Balboyan had a read and that was a clear cut chance. We were... Uh, they were caught napping there, but we didn't take advantage of it. 
goodness me, still nil nil. Going into uh, in towards half time here, Stanislas into the middle, Cook with the header, and that's over the bar. Very open game so far. It has to be said, and and, and a nervous one because you know Bournemouth haven't really got a lot to play for, um, but. They can still finish in the top half, which would be a great achievement. Here's Horner. to away. Here's King now. King on the ball. Gets it forward towards Fisher. And what a goal that is. Round the keeper. Mm. Just just been caught too many times today. Just giving the ball too much space around their players. And I don't really know what Adrian was doing that far off his line. But, you know, we'll just give them the Hanard Rollick in it at half time and, and hopefully that'll spur them into life in this second half. Uh, show a bit of desire. Um, I'm going to take Wilshire off for João Mario and going to commit a cardinal sin here and put Andy Carroll up top for his first start of the season. He's been really mourning recently, and it's really ruining the dynamics. And it's it's a tough one because Andy Carroll's been injured most of the season, and uh, now he's come back. He's expecting first team football, so we'll give him, you know, we'll give him the 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 half today to get us back into the game and show us why he should be starting football matches. But his own happiness is spreading to the rest of the squad, and it is really concerning actually, um, and rather annoying because. It just wouldn't happen in real life, you know. A player that's been injured for three quarters of the season isn't going to be mourning about first team football in his first two weeks back. Uh, that is slightly annoying. Here's Yaya Toure. What a goal that is from the old man himself. What a fantastic free kick that is. A moment of genius. We weren't looking likely at all to get back into the game, but he has just produced a moment of brilliance. And he has got us back in with, we'll take the draw now and run. Um, but what a goal that is. That's the sort of thing that will be replayed time and time again. Here's King. King on the ball. Balbuena cuts it out. Toure forward to Horta. Now wide to Zabaleta. He has Andy Carroll. Horta. Horta. Oh, it's not good. It's a shame because Hort has been really good since he's came, but today haven't seen much of him. Stanislas, King, they could win it here and they have done. That is annoying. Oh. Being beaten at home at this stage of the season is, is not good. It really isn't. And that sort of sucks the life out of the rest of our Premier League season. So I guess from now on um, we will just concentrate on the, the, the cup competition. Um, obviously we've got Everton later on in today's episode and uh, if we get beat by them then it's probably end of season um, to be perfectly honest with you as Pew gets it forward now Masaku Adrian gets it away to Mario can we get a last minute equaliser Horta Horta on the ball Masaku now to Horta nope nope Begovic away and surely the ref's going to blow his whistle now. Horta. Oh, did try and thread it through, but Arnautovic wasn't on the same page. And now he has King. And this is just going to rub salt in the wounds. We did not deserve 3-1. But Joshua King gets his goal. And, well, it's a, a humbling defeat, to say the least. A ball over the top once again. And they just got in behind us and and tore us apart. Really, there's not much we can we can say. We just have to pick ourselves up. I think there's an international break coming, um, so you know at least we can look forward to some fresh legs for the Everton game. But we need to pick ourselves up here. Well, just the one change for this Everton match. We've brought Yarmolenko back. On the right-hand side, Nikolai Jorgensen takes up the fifth substitute position as our, I guess, substitute striker. But, um, yeah, that's the, the only change I've made. I, I, I don't think it's time to panic um, after the the uh, the Watford results. So, Watford. 
Bournemouth result. Um, so, yeah, I, I think we can win with this squad, and hopefully we will. Here's Toure. Now, Felipe Anderson, the hoarder, who puts it in. Andre Hoarder, stick it on his foot in the six-yard box, and you will grab yourself a goal. It's 1-0. Will show with the cross in, and uh, Toure with the, the next uh, pass. And, and Felipe Anderson, you know, he was injured for the first six months or so, but he's been brilliant since then. Here's Coleman, now Davies forward to Walcott, and Sigerson hits the post. Whew, that was pretty damn close. Here he is again, Sigerson. Gets into the middle, now here's Walcott. Walcott on the ball, into the middle, it's Holgate, it's away. Here's uh, Chink, now to Holgate. Sigerson, oh, what's Toure doing? <laughs> Walcott scores, that was just a farce, it really was, and Adrian has been horrific in today's episode, it really has been, but uh, I can't put the, the blame entirely on him, although maybe I can, it wasn't Toure's fault, Adrian just came running out and passed it to Walcott, unbelievable, here's Reed. now Wilshere, Horner, Anderson now, Anderson on the ball, Chicharito gets a forward to Horta and that is just wide. But a uh, bit of an end-to-end -end start to this game. Hopefully it won't continue that way. I'd, I'd like to control proceedings, but yeah, Sigerson into the middle. Here's Walcott again. He shoots from range. What a goal that is from Theo Walcott. I mean, it says he scores a total fluke, so maybe it wasn't intentional. Um, but that was, again, probably quite poor. I don't see how that's a fluke. I guess he was maybe passing it to the far post. But uh, Adrian, I think, is coming off at half-time. Here's Davies. Now Josselu. Oh, dear. Right. Adrian is becoming the scapegoat. <sighs> disappointing we went 1-0 up and, and now we're 3-1 down and you would say that that's pretty much over um, but Adrian again should be doing better in my opinion Fabianski comes on hopefully a lot more solid option he has Wilshere now Yarmolenko gets it wide to Hernandez Hernandez on the ball come on Masaku now Reed. Anderson Wilshire, Chicharito to Toure, Anderson now, Horta over the bar, another chance for him, uh, annoying how quickly this game has changed, mm. and amazing how quickly the season has sort of come to an end, to be honest with you, because I don't think I'll bother playing uh, the last three matches on camera, um, we have been given a new contract by the board, which you know opens up a possibility of a season two uh, of Hammers Unite. But uh, you guys will have to let me know. I'm not that bothered about doing a second season. Um, you know, I was thinking maybe do one of the the, the top teams try and uh, see if we can win a title. Not Man United, not Tottenham. Um, Probably not Arsenal. Um, maybe Liverpool. Liverpool or Chelsea, perhaps. Um, and see. Maybe Liverpool could be a good idea, actually, because they have made some signings. They, there's a lot of whispers that uh, Liverpool are, are in it to win it this year. Um, so possibly that. But let me know down in the comments. Uh, we won't make any decisions straight away. Um, but obviously this comes out on Sunday, uh, so yeah, let me know and and by Tuesday, we'll we'll either be back with more Hammers Unite or we'll we'll have a a brand new series. So please let me know. I, I quite like the idea of one one season challenges up till uh, FM nineteen. Maybe doing something abroad at some point as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I think another another Premier League team. Might might be a good idea. Here's Josselu. Now to Davies. Davies forward there. Uh, Tosun. Now to Josselu. To Sigerson. 
uh, Zabaleta get, oof, I tell you what, that was nearly a comical own goal. Here's Toure. Read to Wilshire now. Anderson. Anderson on the ball. Wilshire. Horner. Gets it wide to Yarmolenko. This could be a chance. Yarmolenko in the middle. Hernandez is there. That was such a big chance to keep us in the match. Baines. Wilshire. Walcott. Oh. What a goal from Theo Walcott. You cannot argue with that. And that's his hat trick. Just one touch and then bang. And Everton uh, ahead into the final of the FA Cup. Well played, Everton. And uh, for us, it's it's a story of a season petering out. But uh, a top half finish, you know, I think we can be uh, reasonably happy with that. Um, what I think I might do is at the, the end of this uh, match, I might cut forward to the end of the season and uh, and we'll have a look at where we eventually finish um, rather than end it three games early. But there now, 5-1 up. What has happened in today's episode? <sighs> 8-2 is the aggregate score and you know we've been in really good form recently I think we've just sort of ran out of steam uh, to be perfectly honest with you and uh, I'm not looking forward to the last three games of the season put it that way if this is a sign of things to come Toure now Wilshire Anderson Horta Wilshire Chicharito, Foley, Yarmolenko over the bar. Just hasn't been our day today. It looked like it was going to be when Horta put us up uh, 1-0 after four minutes, but absolute demolition in the semi-final of the FA Cup. We were um, demolished by uh, Bournemouth as well, so a really, really poor episode so far. But hopefully in the last three games we can have something to cheer about. Well, guys, the the season ended pretty much how those two matches went. Absolutely disgraceful performances. A 6-2 defeat by Chelsea, which, uh, you know, can happen. Uh, we actually played quite well against Man City. I think we deserved something out of the game. Aguero scored in the 85th minute, but then we lost 3-1 to Brighton on the last day of the season. Already relegated, and you can see just the form is pretty shocking. 6 uh, games without a victory since the quarterfinal FA Cup victory against Man United. Um, but overall, you know, I think a, a positive season to finish 10th with that poor run in um, is, is quite good, to be honest with you. Um, and certainly a solid platform for next season, should we do it. You guys will have to let me know. Um, well clear of any relegation troubles and, uh, and certainly... You know, nowhere near the top six, which you'd expect. It's it's going to be very, very difficult to break into the the, the top six for any team. Um, but uh, seven points off seventh place is not bad at all. Let's have a little look at squad performances before we finish off for the season. Top goal scorer was Yarmolenko, 14-11 for Hernandez, 8 for Felipe Anderson, 7 for Toure, 5 each for Horta and Jorgensen. Possibly our problem was a consistent goal scorer this season. Top assists is 8 for Javier Hernandez, 7 each for Yarmolenko and Anderson, 6 for Antonio Five each for Mario and Wilshire. Top average rating is uh, Horda with a 7.42. So very, very good um, signing, you would have to say. A 7.18 for Yarmolenko. And a few more sevens in there as well. But again, possibly our problem. Not enough of our team were performing week in and week out out but that is where we are going to leave it for this season if you have enjoyed then make sure you do leave a like down below it really does help me out means a lot to me as well subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye